Well, hello, hello, everybody. Happy Sunday to you. I just want to take one minute and see, make sure that my uh, Facebook Live is up and running the right way. I have a bad habit of not checking, and then the one time it was on its side, so um, everybody got a, had a sore neck turning their heads to <laughs> watch my Facebook Live. But anyway, thank you for joining me today. Um, this is the card I want to share with you. Very simple. Um, it makes use of the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. I apologize for the glare. I'm trying to tip it so there isn't one. Uh, it is a two set um, stamp here. It comes in two boxes and um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Fun to work with. Um, the other stamp set that I want to highlight and give a few of uh, tips that worked for me on this was the Boca Dots. This is one where I have read uh, people were having some issues with uh, getting a nice image where you could still see the uh, the fun stuff that it is in this background stamp. So as you can see, that's what I have here in the background. Now, I'll be honest with you, I tried a couple different things. Um, don't have an ink pad that is super juicy. That's one tip. Uh, tip number two, I tried with a using a brayer uh, and a sponge and a sponge dauber uh, to get my image. And I will be honest with you, uh, what worked best for me was first of all a, a drier ink pad for that matter and using my Stamparatus. Um, that way, uh, even though I had the drier ink pad, I was still able to stamp twice, get the uh, image that I wanted, and that, like I say, is what worked best for me. Here is the Stamparatus. Um, even these little graph uh, paper sheets that fit into it, they're fantastic. You wanna have that in there too. Because what I can do is uh, set it in here exactly where I want it. Um, obviously, I went ahead and put this in ahead of time and um, so that I could do this and have it somewhat even. Uh, but this way now you can ink it up, just bring it down and stamp right on it. It's a beautiful stamp positioning tool. One thing I do like to do is have uh, something underneath it when I open it up. An ink pad works fine uh, or even a stamp set. That way it just kind of makes it flat so that you don't have put any extra uh, stress on to the uh, hinges here. So let me try and get this in with the least amount of glare. To make the card, let me bring it back in one more time. Let me show you the, the supplies that you're gonna need. Stamparatus, my two ink uh, pads that I used on this were Petal Pink, wouldn't it be nice to get my big old hand out of the way? And uh, the Memento Tuxedo Black. For the flower, that came out of the Magnolia set. And I did use some blends for that. Um, I have the two shades of Mossy Meadow. And I have the Petal Pink. Um, if at some point throughout the video I say uh, Mellow Moss, that I think, didn't that used to be like a really old color? I think I'm dating myself. But for some reason, that's what always sticks in my mind as far as what this color is. So if I say Mellow Moss, please ignore me and know that I mean Mossy Meadow. So um, the card stock, we need uh, the card base, which is five and a half, eight and a half, scored down the middle at four and a quarter. All right, I have uh, the white piece that I just put in here. This measures four and three quarters by three and a half. Now you know me, if you've seen my, my videos, a lot of times I do just an eighth of an inch bigger for my margin. Well, I'm keeping you on your toes today because then the next layer is petal pink and it is five, whoops, let's make that five by three and three quarters. So a quarter of an inch bigger, making the black then five and a quarter by four. So yeah, like I said, I'm keeping you on your toes on that one. 
I do have some scrap paper, scrap white, to stamp and color my, and then die cut out my magnolia, and also um, for my sentiment on here. Some rhinestones, and then adhesive and dimensionals, of course, so. Okay, so let me get started here. First, with that little background, there is my petal pink. And like I said, it is a little bit on the drier side. And if you need to push the ink out of the way, use a spoon. I had just a plastic spoon and you just rub on it and kind of push it off to the edges. Um, it will eventually just kind of resettle in where it needs to go. So you don't really have to do anything after that. So let me just go ahead, move some stuff out of the way here. And we'll start just hit number one here with the Stamparatus. You may like it just that way. Um, I'm gonna go with one more try. Uh, I would do one just a tad bit darker. So let me go ahead and do that because you have it positioned in here, held in tight with the magnet and have it move the stamp or paper. You're going to stamp right down on the exact same spot. So let me see. Yep, there we go. That's what worked best for me. This is what the way I like doing it. So let me pull this out, close up my ink pad. That is sort of my thing to always do. I always like to make sure my ink pads are closed. So I'll move this off to the side. Now the flower out of the Magnolia set here, I already stamped it so I can show you then how to, I colored it up. Uh, this is the Memento Tuxedo Black ink that I used. So here we go with the Mossy Meadow first. Um, I uh, What works for me might not work for you when it comes to the blends. Um, everybody has their own way of doing it. There's no right and there's no wrong. So first of all, there is the brush end, so the wider end and then the more fine tip point. Um, 99% of the time I use the brush end. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of the dark. That's what this one is. Just, I let the stamp tell me where the dark goes. So you kind of see all those extra little lines. So my feeling is that's where that dark is gonna go. All right, so let me just now come in and go over it. Yeah, I do leave sometimes some white. Sometimes I'll come back in and fill that in. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So I already have it somewhat blended. My thing is, if I don't feel like it's blended well enough, if I have it looking like it's too much of one color, I will go back in with the dark and add more. So let me just put in a little bit of the stem and knowing that it is alcohol based, it is gonna kind of run a little bit. So if I'm okay with that, if you are if you don't like that that has gone over the line, then uh, one, you can use the, um, the clear ink. Let me see here, what do they call it? Uh, color lifter, there we go. Um, and you can come in and use that and kind of erase that ink. It, it does lift it up um, or before you get to coloring it, just don't go close enough to the edge of your ink uh, image there, where the ink is. Kind of stay inside of it when you're coloring and that way it won't, um, you know, kind of blend out on you there. Okay, so that's the Mossy Meadow. Now onto the flower itself. Again, using the dark and the light of the petal pink, I just, like I said, I've kind of follow where, this is the dark right now that I'm using. I just kind of follow the lines that are on the stamp itself and use the dark. Come back through with the light and just kind of, use, I go with a, like a circular motion. I think that helps me to achieve that blended look. Now, with something so light as the petal pink, I find myself going back often and just hitting it back up again with the dark, kind of where I already had put it. And that just really kind of makes it pop then. So 
All right, it's simple as that. There it is, colored up. Run it through your die cutting machine with the coordinating dies, and here we go. So next up will be, I need to find, you know, just when you think you're all organized, then you find something that you're not organized with. There we go, okay. The sentiment, I just have a scrap piece of paper here. It is the, I like to use the Thick Whisper White, that's just me. Uh, let me just get my black ink pad. I have my sentiment, the enjoy today. Okay. And I think that I put too much ink on that one, so let me try that again. Okay. I always, with sentiments that are long strips like this, I will just go ahead and I'm doing this and trying not to get my head in the way. I will stamp it down just on an extra big piece of paper. Then I will go and then just to my paper trimmer and just cut that strip. All right, so with that is where I got this, okay? So let me get my punch. I <laughs> forget the name of this punch. So uh, someone can help me. Taylor, Taylor Tag Punch, I believe. Um, so I like to use this to make my little banner ends to it. You can certainly use your scissors. I like to just bring it down. I hope I have this in. Punch it and then there's my little banner end to it. Okay, so let me see what's next. Okay, uh, I will go ahead and start building my card. So let me go ahead and get these layers put down now. So, so those were just a couple tips and tricks and things that worked for me as far as the Boca Dots stamp set and for stamping blends so okay yep I do like my layers whether it's the just an eighth of an inch now for the the uh, the layer or if it is a whole quarter inch which is what these these are here so okay keep on going another layer okay on the inside of my card base, I stamped a happy birthday. That one actually comes from the Itty Bitty Birthday stamp set. Love this one. Just when you need just little bits of, of birthday uh, verbiage in there. There you go. And then I stamped that flower again, but this time I just stamped it in the petal pink. Um, if you wanted to color it in, you're, I would not recommend that. Uh, the blends do seep through to the other side so you would get that on the back of your card but what you could do is do one like this die cut it out and then glue it down in if you wanted to have a colored one in on the inside using the blends so so that's an option for you as well so let me get this down now and the next thing is my sentiment. I just want to have it. That's kind of how I'm gonna have it right there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, I made a little mark for myself so I could do this a little bit uh, without totally messing it up. So just a glue dot to go ahead and I want to figure out where I want to put it on the flower. I'll just sort of set it down and pick it up. Okay, so here we go now. Time to get some dimensionals on the back of this. The mini dimensionals work great on the banner itself. Remember, I am the dimensional hog. I love a lot of them, so uh, don't be surprised if you see me put a whole bunch on and there's got to be room for one more there's always room for one more dimensional okay so here we go yeah 
Another tip is with the dimensional backing, sometimes it sticks, just push on it with your fingernail and that helps to release it enough that you can then get in there and lift it right up. Except on days when you're doing Facebook Lives, then nothing helps. All right, there we go, that one did okay. So, okay, so let me get this back down in here. It doesn't look like I got, I see my glue dot. So let me just move this and bend it and probably ruin it. So, okay, I'll deal with that later. So. There we go. Okay, push it down in. Last and final bit, just to add a little bit of bling, is to put on some rhinestones. And I thought I had these ready, so excuse me while I pull them out of the package. Okay, here we go. Um, I like this background from the Boca Dots that looks almost like Starburst, so I thought that would be a great way to then highlight that by popping in some rhinestones into those spots. So, let me do one, two, and three. All right, so there it is. Here we go with the card we made today and the first card with a big old cat hair on it. Um, yeah, I do share my room with my my cat Mojo, his uh, food dish is in here. So maybe early, earlier in the Facebook Live, you heard him crunching away. So anyway, so here are the two cards. I uh, thank you for hanging with me and uh, watching, taking on a few little tips that I had, tips and tricks that worked for me. Uh, you might find something else that works better. So that would be great. Do what works for you. Um, and I appreciate you guys stopping by, spending a couple minutes with me, and uh, have a great time. Uh, if you want to um, follow me on my blog, it is lindalucreates.com. And if you have any questions, want help placing any order, uh, I would be more than happy to help. So thanks again, guys. Have a great day. Bye now.